Good morning. Thank you all for being here. On uh, behalf of Horn Lake High School administration and faculty, I want to welcome you all to the National Honor Society induction ceremony. Um, so National Honor Society, we already know, is about academics. Um, and as a society, we place a big role on academics, and it, it is very important. And this group of children, or students, have worked very hard um, to succeed in everything that they have accomplished. But it has more to do with um, being leaders in the school and in society and character. And Raul will go into that about the four um, pillars of the National Honor Society. Um, but these students here um, are the best of the best. So it's been an honor to work with you this year. And those that I had as freshmen, it's a little bittersweet. Um, uh, but I'm very proud of you. And that's it. I'm very proud of you. Um, Raul, our president, or, oh, I'm sorry, Susan. Um, now we're going to be introducing our guest speaker, Mr. Hoffman. Um, last year, he was our teacher of the year, and he's super passionate, and he's always um, there to help any student in need. Hey, everybody, and welcome. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I didn't have a chance to memorize this yet, so I'm going to kind of be reading a little bit. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, administrators, proud parents, and most importantly, our distinguished inductees, it's with great pleasure and honor that I stand before you today to celebrate the induction of these outstanding people into the National Honor Society. This ceremony marks not just an achievement, but a commitment to excellence, service, and leadership. Today, we gather to reflect on these pillars, uh, which are scholarship, service, leadership, and character. First thing I'd like to talk about is the significance of being a lifetime lear lifelong learner. Learning is not confined to the walls of a classroom or to the pages of a textbook. It is a journey that extends throughout our lives, and as members of the National Honor Society, you've already demonstrated your thirst for knowledge and a dedication to academic excellence. But remember, true learning goes beyond grades and beyond accolades. It's about curiosity and critical thinking and willingness to embrace new ideas and perspectives. Lifelong learning empowers us to adapt, adapt to an ever-changing world, to confront challenges with resilience, and to pursue our passions with vigor. Uh, your service to community is not merely a duty. It's a privilege, and it's a calling. As members of the National Honor Society, you have shown a commitment to giving back and making a positive impact on that world around you, whether it's through volunteering at a local shelter, tutoring your peers, organizing community events. Your act of service embody the spirit and compassion of empathy and altruism. Remember, the greatest measure of success is not what we achieve for ourselves, but what we can contribute to the betterment of others. Leadership is not is another essential quality uh, that defines the character of a National Honor Society member. Leadership is not about wielding authority or seeking recognition. It's about inspiring others. It's about fostering collaboration and effective positive change. True leaders lead by example and they empower those around them and they strive to bring out the best in others. As members of this esteemed society, you are called to be leaders in your schools, in your communities, and your future endeavors. Embrace this responsibility with humility and courage. Know that your actions have the power to change the world. Finally, let us reflect on the importance of strength of character, the most important one. It is the very foundation upon which all other virtues are built. It is integrity in action, resilience in adversity, and kindness in the face of cruelty. As members of the National Honor Society, you have demonstrated not only academic excellence, but also moral integrity and ethical leadership. Remember, your character is not defined by your achievements or your failures, but by the choices you make and the values you uphold. So in conclusion, as you embark on this journey, as members of the National Honor Society, remember the significance of being a lifelong learner, of serving your community with compassion and humility, and of leading with integrity and inspiration and embodying the strength of character in all that you do. Carry these values as you continue to strive for excellence and make a difference in the world, and leave a legacy worthy of emulation. 
Congratulations to each and every one of you on this very well-deserved honor. And the future is bright, and I have no doubt that you guys will shine as a beacon of hope, knowledge, and service to the world. I want to introduce Raul Iniguez. Uh, he's our president, and he's going to introduce our officers. Good morning. Uh, my name is Raul Iniguez, and I am this year's NHS president. Uh, today we are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected for successfully completing their candidacy and being inducted as new members of our NHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be amongst our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Our chapter is proud to have been inducted members for 64 years, and with today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter served as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records that established our eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations and will serve school and communities through many activities. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy and support of continuing work as NHS members. I would like to now introduce the rest of our officers. Uh, we have Susan Alhedani as our Vice President, uh, Destiny Christie as our Treasurer, and June Blakeney as our Secretary. Our officers will be part of the, today's lighting ceremony of the candles, each representing one of the four pillars of NHS, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Membership in our chapter of NHS has been earned through the effective demonstration of these four qualities. Although the National Honor Society is by invitation only, these pillars demonstrate an emphasis on everyday values shared within our schools, communities, and our families. At this moment, I would like to officially begin the lighting ceremony. Please allow me to begin with scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and studying, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired only one way, through diligence, an effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the, have the charge to continually expand their worlds through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Albert Einstein once said, wisdom is not a product of schooling, but of the lifelong attempt to acquire it. I would like to now introduce our Vice President, Susan Alhaydani, who will explain the importance of leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school in taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities. A real, le a real leader, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach common goals of success. The price of a leader is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without gu the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to, thus to lead in it is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. These are the three essentials to leadership, humility, clarity, and courage. And that was stated by John Wick. I would like to now introduce our treasurer, Destiny Christie, who will inform you about service.
My office is service. Service can be established in the routine of a day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for our entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to cre the creation of a better tomorrow. Everybody can be great because everybody can serve. Martin Luther King Jr. For the final pillar, character, I would like to introduce our secretary, June Blakeney. Character is an integral part of who we are as people. It is our morals, our integrity. It is what makes us good. It shows in our kindness to others. It shows in our fairness to all people. It shows in our responsibility of our actions and their results. It is the power to respect people who do not respect you. Character is what people respect. It draws people in and forms bonds for a lifetime. Without character, we cannot earn respect. Character is not something given to us. We must cultivate it ourselves. We must demonstrate that we wish to develop our character, that we value its worth, that we value the desire to be a good person above all else. As Dennis Prager once said, goodness is about character, integrity, honesty, kindness, generosity, moral courage, and the like. More than anything else, it is how we treat other people. With the conclusion of the lighting ceremony, we may now begin inducting our members. But before we begin, please allow me to discuss the importance of this event. Today's induction ceremony celebrates our new members' acceptance into our organi organization. It, is not, it not only celebrates academic achievements, but also underscores the significance of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Please welcome back our advisor, Ms. Campbell, to begin the induction ceremony. Susan Alhaidani, June Blakeney, Destiny Christie, Raul Iniguez, I would now like to introduce our secretary again, June, to uh, induct our, the rest of our members. We will begin with our seniors. To start off our seniors, we have Brayden Abston. Loretta Avina. Eric Claros Jr. Though he is not here, Chance Franklin. Marcos Galvin. China Garner. Wallacea Jones Garner. Arabella Gaskins. Ariana Randall. Dexter Smith Jr. Brianna Stone. Anna Trillet. And our final senior, Kaylin Tucker. We will now move on to juniors. Though she is not here, Jada Burrell, 
Zoe Christie. Zamaya Fairley. Tamara Layton. Mackenzie Perryman. And our final member, Denisha Wright. Will all inductees please stand for the Pledge of the National Honor Society. I pledge to uphold, I pledge to uphold the high purpose of the National Honor Society. The high purpose of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. High standards of scholarship, leaders, leadership, and character. <laughs> you may be seated. Uh, for closing remarks, please welcome our principal, Mr. Nick Tungit. Great job, great job, Raul. We appreciate your leadership, and as well as June and Destiny and Susan. Y'all did a great job. It's exciting to see this 20-plus members get inducted. And there's no doubt in my mind when you're going over, is it a pledge, that you will uphold the four principles in this. This is a great group of seniors and juniors, and y'all have been great since the middle school and high school, just leaders around the campus, and um, have helped change the culture of learning and growing, and y'all have just maximized your potential and made others around you better along the way so we appreciate everything y'all have done for horn lake high school and yourselves personally and um, i can't see what i can't wait to see what y'all do the rest of your time in college and life after that it's just a great group so congratulations i appreciate y'all representing horn lake high school well we appreciate all the parents being here to uh, help celebrate these awesome students today and thank you to miss campbell um, for all her hard work with this and she's um, done a great job with it thank you for speaking mr hoffman and everybody else so um